Hi, I'm Christelle, I'm the director of Exportia and we are very pleased to be a new partner of the Export Council of Australia. At Exportia, over the last 10 years, we took dozens of Australian businesses to the European Union. We specialize in high-tech sectors, it means medical devices, uh, software, IT, digital, but also electronics and advanced manufacturing and clean technologies. So today, we are going to focus on the first pillar. It is a major one, it is product. So what do you look at uh, in terms of product when you enter the European uh, market? First thing is compliance. You need to make sure that your product is going to uh, comply with the European Union standards and certifications. If you are at an early stage in your product development, it's a really good time to make sure you build your product to those standards. And if you already have a product, just make sure you check all the regulatory requirements for your product. It's especially important for medical devices, but in our um, high-tech sectors, it's also often required to have CMR to sell into the European Union. So that's a very important point. The second point that you need to look after is when you prepare your entry into the European Union, just test your product, choose pick a handful of um, high potential prospective clients and ask them feedback about your product. Don't do play hard sell with them, just explain to them, I'm about, my business is about to enter into the European Union, we want to do it the right way, we would like to gather your feedback and we value your opinion, could you please tell me what you think about our product, would you buy it? Use those feedback to get ready for, the, for your entry into the European Union. Then the third thing is when you um, prepare for being multilingual. You, it's a legal requirement to have um, manuals and instructions in different languages in the European Union. So when your engineers or your team design product manuals, make sure they have instructions that clearly tell them that they need to reduce the number of words as much as possible. That means that give them the example of IKEA. IKEA, if you look at the instructions, it's only pictures. So try to be as close as possible to that. Try to reduce the number of words as much as possible. I know it's, it's a bit hard for some very technical products, but try to do your best to make it in terms of pictures and diagrams. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next video next week, which will be about country. And uh, you can, in the meantime, download tools on our website on the download section or start the dialogue on Twitter. Thank you. Bye.